It's becoming a routine sight in Mosul. People trying to escape with just the clothes on their backs, leaving behind all they owned and in some cases family members buried in the destruction. No funerals, no final goodbyes. We are now below zero. Nothing is left for us. Our houses was destroyed, our families are dead and under the rubble. I can't say more. They are all dead now. Iraqi Federal Police, the counter-terrorism force and army are struggling to regain control of the last remaining neighborhoods from ISIL. Snipers and suicide bombers are resisting. Their doggedness is surprising advancing forces who say these neighborhoods will be recaptured in a few days. But the only thing that's been consistent in the past week is the suffering of civilians. Witnesses describe streets full of dead bodies. People have been killed by ISIL fire as well as the weapons being used by the Iraqi forces. We're agonized to death and doomed. We fled the fighting in Sinjali. We've escaped death miraculously. It's becoming so desperate that survivors say those who died were lucky. Being wounded just prolongs the suffering. I got hit by a mortar. The blast of the explosion threw me off my feet with shrapnel all over my body. Just two days ago, we got stranded by the crossfire and sniper shots. We saw houses being leveled as we were escaping. On another battlefield in the Zanjili neighborhood, Iraqi troops say ISIL fighters are not allowing people to leave. Some who manage to run away are shot. Families dress the wounds with whatever they have until they reach security forces. In northwest Mosul, Iraqi forces are looking for victory and ISIL fighters are refusing to give up. This is adding to the rising number of civilian casualties and the pleas by aid workers to protect civilians as they try and flee out of Mosul are being ignored. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Erbil, Northern Iraq.